So game three between the Oilers and Kings last night. The Kings took this one 3-2 in overtime, but it would come with some controversy. Let's break down the game. Late in the first period, with time ticking down, the puck makes its way to Matt Roy at the point, and he throws a quick shot on net, which looks to be tipped by Alex Iafalo. Skinner saves the initial shot, but the rebound falls right in front of Iafalo as he takes a swipe at the puck and beats Skinner to give the Kings a 1-0 lead. We'll pick this one up just under 8 minutes into the second, with the Oilers on the power play. Bouchard feeds the puck to McDavid on the wing, and McDavid just absolutely rifles one past Corpusalo to tie the game at 1. Just under two minutes later, with the Oilers on the power play again, Bouchard finds McDavid in the exact same spot, and with a little more space this time, McDavid skates up and rifles another beautiful shot past Corpusalo to give the Oilers a 2-1 lead. Not even 20 seconds later, after Dreisaitl got a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct for the celebration after the McDavid goal, Victor Arvidsson makes a heads-up play and dumps it into the Oilers zone, banking it off the boards for Adrian Kempe, who gets behind the defense. Kempe fires a quick slap shot and beats Skinner to tie the game up at 2. The game would remain tied after 60 minutes, and we were headed to overtime. Not even two minutes into overtime, Ryan Nugent Hopkins takes a terrible slashing penalty to give the Kings a power play. With time ticking down in the power play, Gabe Velarde gets the puck down low and finds Trevor Moore out front, who fires a quick shot and beats Skinner far side to give the Kings the win. Now, here's where the controversy starts. After the celebration, you see Skinner go back to his net and no one on the Oilers bench has left the ice. It shows the refs reviewing the play, but no one knows what happened. The announcers were confused, as were the fans. A few minutes into the review, the broadcast finally shows a replay, which appears to show Gabe Velarde touching the puck with a high stick. You also see McDavid on the replay throw his hand up to signal that he saw the puck touched with a high stick. After seeing multiple replays myself, it was very tough to judge until I saw this angle in slow motion. If we take a look at this replay right here, in my opinion, this puck clearly touches Velarde's stick here, and this should have been called back. It's very close, but I think this replay right here is conclusive enough. After a very lengthy review that lasted well over five minutes, the goal would stand and the game was over. In a post-game interview, McDavid would go on to say that he signaled for the high stick as that's what he saw. He obviously looked visibly frustrated, but said that the league obviously had the review in place for a reason and determined they couldn't tell. This was a tough break for the Oilers, but things don't always go your way, so you just have to move on and focus on the next game. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.